Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading I Love You, episode 5 to 6. Let's go ahead and get started. Finally, I get to have some fun. This party has not been that great so far. <laughs> you must really love pranking people, judging by the look on your face. So what exactly is the plan? Alright, but just a fair warning before we go through the, uh, with this prank. I'll explain the details at the bar upstairs. The bar. Your friends are definitely not going to be happy with what's about to happen. They might not even forgive you for this. Even if they, if you're saying things like that, then I'm not sure. It sucks that they're both ignoring me, but I wouldn't want them to get hurt. Don't worry, they won't be harmed. You have my word. Would I really trust a stranger for saying that? So, will you be my partner? I love you. So, why are we here at the bar? I'm going to ask a bartender for some help. Why the bartender? We'll need him to make things more convincing. Okay, what is this prank anyway? We're gonna prank call your friends. What? That's it? A prank call? You're kidding me, right? I could come up with something way better than a lame prank call. Will you be my partner? For this prank, I mean. Heck yeah! <laughs> I'm down for anything as long as no one gets hurt. Let's do this. High five? No? Okay then. <laughs> to the bar we go! <clears throat> the heck are you smiling for? Stop that. Just trust me on this. So these two are the friends that came with you? Yeah. All right, since you said their phones were turned off, we'll, we'll, we will go be going straight to voicemail. But this will still work fine. Please leave a message after the tone. Yo, I'm just letting you know, your friend is at the bar with me and she had a few too many drinks and she won't stop because you guys ditched her. She's mad drunk right now. I think I see where this is going. My only friends, I feel so betrayed right now. I, I, I need to drink all my sorrows away. Give me another beer. You heard that. Well, anyway, I'm just going to take her home with me. I'll show her how to have a good time when we arrive at my place. Hey, you're going a little too far for that. For far now there, buddy. Now stop. Stop. You weren't against this earlier. You were really into it, too. Just, just stop already, or else I'm going to... All right, I'm done. Calm down. See? The call ended. I... it better have. I swear it did. Hey, you two. Why are you up here at the bar? Great, more trouble. You don't look old enough to be here. Show me your ID. We're not up here to drink, but here it is anyway. Also, if you would let my friend stay up here with me, I greatly appreciate it. Ah, uh, of course, sorry. I didn't recognize you any sooner, sir. What would you guys like to drink? Go ahead and ask for anything to drink. I need to be careful around this stalker. If he has that kind of influence. I'll take a plain glass of some juice, please. Um, okay. What about you, sir? I'll pass on the drinks, but I need you to do something for me. My friend over here got dished by our friends, so we both decided to prank them. So, what do you need me to do? When they come, when they do come up here looking for her, can you tell them she left the party drunk with a dude? Sure. What do they look like? Um, it's the two girls to the left and right. 
Uh, one's wearing a black dress with a black mask, and the other a blue dress and red mask. Anything else? That's it. Thanks, man. Some friends you got there, by the way. They're really not that bad. They take their parties seriously. That's all. Yeah, but leaving a girl alone at a party? And considering this this year's theme? I don't think it's safe. I can fiend for myself, but thanks for the concern anyway. But the things people are capable of while hiding behind a mask is just... Ah, I should stop. I'm ruining the mood. I'm going to call you the cab right now. I'm sure you're itching to leave at this stump. The taxi will be here in about 15 minutes. I'm heading to the bathroom, so stay put and be careful. Like I said, I can fiend for myself. All right, I'll be right back. I should probably try and call Rika again. Maybe she'll pick up this time around. The message that dude left could give someone a heart attack. I should explain things to them before they freak out. Your call has been forwarded to an... Still off. <laughs> and here he thought of clearing up that stalker's awful voice message. Fine, I'll leave you guys to freak out like crazy then. But, hey, not even a simple excuse me? Oh, <laughs> where are my manners? I'm so sorry, miss. How can I make up this blunder to you, miss? Oh, uh, well, the apology was enough, actually. Oh no, please, let me do something for you. You look lonely. How about a date? Huh? There's a better bar just a few blocks from here. Um, no thanks. Jeez, I need to stop drinking too much water. No, really, it's okay. Come on, let's, let me take you out. You're really cute. I'm fine, okay? You don't need to do me any favors. Don't be like that. Let's have some fun. Please, all I want to do is go home. Even better. I have a car. Let's go to your place. Dude, please, I already ruined two suits within two days. Don't make me ruin yours. Huh. I already said no. Don't you understand what no means? Are you sure you don't want to have some fun with me? Yes, I'm... I am sure. Jeez, he can't take a hint. Hey, you heard the lady. She's not interested. So why don't you leave her alone and get out of here? Or I'll have to carry you myself. Thank goodness. That's right. Keep walking. Are you okay? He didn't hurt you or anything. I'm all right. Thanks. I see this happens all the time at parties. Guys who just won't stop bothering the girls who isn't interested. People can't take a hint sometimes. Speak for yourself. Did you even drink that, by the way? No. Do you want it? Yeah, I'll take it. I'm thirsty. I don't want to keep bothering the bartender. But anyway, what did I say earlier? It's not safe being alone. And what's worse, a lot of these people can get away with a lot of things because of their money. Yeah, the heck is in this? Didn't you ask for orange juice? Yeah, it's orange juice. And by the way, this... Packed ends after I get into the cab, right? So don't get too comfortable. We'll see about that. What did you say? Nothing. Ah, the cab must be waiting for you outside. This $50-ish all I got. Should be more than enough here. Uh, huh? Um, are you okay? You look like you're about to pass out. What? Did you say something? I I'm sorry. You, my head feels... You sound funny. Well, I'm gonna go then. Thanks for helping me out, Mr. Stalker. Now, I'll just wait and see how Rika and Maya reacts. Oh no. Finally, on my way home. Just you? Yeah, why? I was just wondering because your friend thought he was coming because he's passed out on the ground. Probably drank too much. Huh? Kids these days, there's more to life than partying. Mister, I'll be right back. S Mr. Stalker? 
Oh, okay. Please have your sound on for this chapter. All right. And volume should be fine. Let's go. All right. I love you. What happened? Mr. Stalker? It's kind of loud, huh? Let me try to lower here. What's going on? He doesn't look too good. I can't leave him here like this. Excuse me, can you help me out, out over here? Did something happen to your friend? I... I have no idea. He isn't pranking me, is he? He looks terrible. He's not my friend, but it seems like he really needs some help. We need to get him some help ASAP. Of course, do you want me to call an ambulance? Or do you know where he lives? I can take you guys to his home if you prefer that instead. I don't know where he lives. What about your place? What? There's no way I'm bringing a stranger to my own home. Like I said, he isn't my... No, don't call anyone. No, no, no hospitals. Please. I don't want, want to start a com commotion. And I... I don't have health insurance. I'm sorry, buddy. I will not be held liable if something were to happen. So if you're going to the hospital, whether you like it or not, dang, you're heavy. Hey, can you help me carry this guy to your cab? Of course. One moment. Hey, where are you going? I'll be right back. I just need to turn the meter on. Seriously? Finally found you. Are you positive it's him? A hundred percent. I can recognize his cheekbone from a mile away. I follow several blogs dedicated to Mr. Hurdleston. One of them posts pictures of nothing but his cheekbones. What kind of blog is that? So weird. Don't question the blogs I follow. Hold on. Do you run a blog about some actor's bicep in the past? You're no different. Are you saying Mr. Huge Jack... Jackman Godly's muscles? They deserve their own blog. I had to shut it down because it couldn't get any sleep. No, where did he go? I didn't even get the chance to take a photo with Mr. Tim Hernliston. I missed my chance being graced with the presence of the cheekbones. I don't know if there is anything for me to at this uh, party anymore. Speaking of, I wonder if Shanae found anything to do worthwhile. I haven't heard from her for a while now. Did you turn off your phone? Shoot, that's right. I forgot. Crap, she called me several more times after. Did something happen to her or did she just want to go home that badly? Shanae, miss call for Circle Internet Comic. <laughs> oh my god, Mermaid Dilemma. Episode 72, Goldfish Resurrect has been updated. She left a voice message. Put it on speaker. I want to hear it too. Okay. Yo, I'm just letting you know your friend is at the bar with me and she had a few too many drinks. Is that a guy's voice? And she won't stop because you ditched her. She's bad drunk right now. I feel so betrayed right now. I need a drink all my sorrows away. Give me another beer. You heard that? Well, anyway, I'm just going to take her home with me. I'll show her how to have a good time when we arrived at my place. Hey, you're going a little too far now there, buddy. Now stop. Stop? You weren't against You weren't against it this earlier. You were really into it, too. Just stop her. Be... This can't be happening. <laughs> oh, no. Mr. Bartender, can you help us? We're looking for our friend. Have you seen her? Please tell us you've seen her. Black mask and black dress. Red mask and blue dress. They must be the girls we, uh, she described. Uh, what does your friend look like? I see a lot of people while I work here, you know. Oh, right. Of course. Uh, she got dark brown hair. Her eyes slant upwards a bit and she's wearing a purple red dress. Oftentimes, she looks like she wants to murder someone. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen her. 
She came up here and got an orange juice. You have? Oh, thank goodness. Orange juice? Yep. She was here by herself and the dude came up to her a few minutes later. A dude? What were they both doing? Just chit-chatting, I think. But man, your friend was chugging a whole lot of beers. And then I think she left with a guy. She needed to go home, and that's for sure. She was getting wasted. What? No, this can't be happening. Everything's gonna be okay, Rika. I'm sure she's safe. Are you kidding? The guy had the balls to call us and tell what he was gonna do. Oh God, I hope she's okay. Sorry about the seatbelt back there. I've been asking the to get them repaired. How's your friends doing back there? Come to the party, they said. It'll be fun, they said. He blacked out a while ago. Try to keep him on his side end, just in case he throws up. You don't want him choking on his own vomit. It's kind of odd, though. He doesn't stink of booze. Every passenger I've had uh, who was dead drunk reeked of alcohol. He smells good. Okay, weirdo. Hey, I only said that because I thought it was odd too. Hold on, does that mean the only thing he drank was my orange juice? Does he have an orange allergy or something? But why would he ask for my drink if he was aware it was orange juice? It's not my fault he's like this, right? I mean, I didn't know he was allergic, but everyone at the bar saw me give him my drink. Will they believe my innocence? This is bad. His family is probably rich. They're probably going to do whatever it takes to send me to prison. Hey, miss, why don't you call his family or friends? What? Why? Just make sure you inform someone he knows uh, that he's going to the hospital. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he has a phone in one of his pockets. Jackpot. Who should I call? Dieter? So Richie has his own dietitian? Looks like this is Kusuke. Person calls him often. I should probably call him then. No? What do you want? You always ignore my calls. So glad I don't, ha I don't do the same to you. Kusuke, I found you. I'm so lonely. I'm a little busy right now. OMG, are you talking to Yunji right now? Say hi for me, please. Hey, step away from that. That's mine. Damn it, Meg. Just leave me alone with my dessert. Come on, babe. Let's go somewhere and cuddle. Shush, shushi. Take her away, please. Hurt, hurt Kasuke. He wants to be left alone. Hey, let me go. What the heck is going on on the other side of the phone? Anyway, I'm calling because the owner of this phone is on his way to the hospital. The Hirahara Me Memorial Hospital, to be exact. What? What happened to him? Darn, his phone died. At least I managed to tell him which hospital. I really hope I call the right person. Hello? Are you still there? Damn it. I'll leave him alone for a few hours and he ended up going to the hospital. No, that idiot. What the heck happened? <sighs> okay. Well, uh, for me, I would have immediately thought, okay, it's not because he has an, uh, an orange allergy, like allergic to oranges or citrus, or that he was drinking. I would have like, the room. I would be like thinking, oh my God, he had a drink. And whenever those guys are bothering me, maybe it's because they put something into my drink and they were trying to roofie me. And instead I didn't drink it. And this stranger, this Mr. Stalker took it. And maybe that's why he passed out. Like my brain would immediately jump into that. But then again, that's jumping to conclusions. And I kind of do do that. <laughs> but I don't know, they seem very naive there. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!